Now, this is what I meant. So synoptic event, what does that mean? Well, it is a low pressure system that had a frontal boundary that stalled out. And so when we have a frontal boundary that stalls, we have warm air off to the south of it. In fact, we have heat advisories in southern Missouri throughout the day today. And then we have colder air off to the north. And these two air masses, well, they butt up against each other, but neither one wins out. And so we see this boundary set up between the two. And that's where that disruptive weather sits and it doesn't move. And along that boundary is where we see that clash as well as an abundant atmospheric moisture. And that's what moved in overnight. You can see along that frontal boundary, especially just off to the north of that boundary, where we see these shades of darker blue. That is available moisture. And as these thunderstorms develop, tapping into all of that rain in the atmosphere, all of that water content in the atmosphere, and that's what brings in these heavy downpours that continue to slide in. Now, things really picked up a bit as we went through about midnight. Midnight, some lighter showers started to move in, and then we saw that rain pick up in intensity. And one thing that we're seeing here, the trend for these rain showers, they stalled right along this front, continued to move like a train track. And see how even our frontal boundary dips down into southern Illinois. See how the rain takes that same trend and follows along the track of that boundary. And this is the concern that we've had, you know, tapping into all of that moisture, that darker blue and that available water content. We saw rounds and rounds of rainfall rates anywhere from two to four inches per hour from midnight to about six o'clock in the morning, which dropped a widespread eight to 10 inches across the metro. We take a look here at the current radar where we do have some lighter rain coming through. You can see some heavier rain off to the east here. That's going to continue to shift along I-64. We're going to be watching areas like southern Illinois, northern Kentucky into southern Indiana over the next several hours because a moderate risk for flash flooding is a concern as this boundary does stay put throughout the day today so that rain is going to continue to move along through it impacting the same areas over and over and over again so st louis under a flash flood emergency right now just off to the west of the downtown metro including st peter's along the stretch of i-70 which is closed i'm amy freeze welcome to fox weather's youtube page we have more great videos on the way so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather